Hello everyone and welcome. So in this video we are going to talk about Google Collaboratory and how it is different from other Python IDs that you use. So Google Collab is a Jupyter Notebook framework which is present on the cloud so you can access it through the internet. So there are different Python IDs right. So you have sublime text you have atom you have anaconda distributions and you have visual studios right so you have all these ids but if you download them you have to download them and install them on your computer then only you can use them you don't have to download this google collaboratory you can access it directly if you have access to the internet and also when you install other IDs or other distribution that you use then the performance is going to be dependent on your system configuration right but in Google Collaboratory you don't have to worry about what is your system configuration you can utilize all the computational power that Google provides using this google collaboratory and there are many more functionality so better let's head to this google collaboratory and see how we can use them so on your browser just type google collaboratory or my email and also the password here So just enter your email and password and sign in right so it is going to sign in and now we can utilize this google collaboratory so here we can write our codes so just after signing in you will see this screen here all right so here you can click on cancel or also you can click new notebook but here you are not going to see all of this notebooks as i have already created this notebooks that why i am able to see it but for you it won't be there so just click cancel and here you can read about what all feature do we do this google collaboratory provide here all right so feel free to read about all of this instruction here getting started right we can write html or markdown we can embed images or even presentations we can utilize this google collaboratory for our all this purpose so you can do visualization you can do machine learning using this google collaboratory and it is going to assign you some memory as well as some RAM. So if you don't have a system configuration, high system configuration with high RAM or high memory power, then you can utilize this Google Collaboratory. All right, you just have to access it through your internet. All right, now code, you click on new and here you get multiple options. So here you have new notebook, open notebook, you can also upload, you can download it. So here we are going to click on new notebook and it will open a new notebook for us where we can write code, we can write text, we can visualize, we can embed images and all of these files are going to be stored in your drive. So you don't have to go anywhere or download any application to use this all right so you just have to access it through your internet so here first of all you click on connect here and it is going to assign you some ram and as well as some memory so here you see that we are connecting and after i am connected you will be able to see how much ram and how much memory you have been assigned so here we are connected now and if you see here 
connected to python p google compute engine backend ram we have 12.72 gb and here we also have disk space which is 1.107.77 gb so we can utilize it right and here this is the name of your notebook change it as well so here let's give it as intro let's click welcome and if you run this so, so to run it you can either press or here on this play icon or you can press shift enter and you will run your command here we can also write text here so you can write anything so let's say example all right and here you have this text you can also have this as markdown so if you are aware about markdowns you can have this as mark so write import pandas as pd all right now you can assign a variable to store this data so data equals to pd dot read underscore pd dot read underscore psv and then the path that we have copied so just paste it over here and now you can run this cell by pressing shift enter and now you have imported this data set here so here you can also connect to gpus as well as cpus connect it to gpu what you can do is go to edit then go to notebook settings and here you can choose this hardware accelerator and you can select gpu and tpu as well so you have free access to gpus as well and from here click on file you can directly save it in github you can also see your revi revision history so there are many more functionality and we will see that when we go through this video series so thank you